Hello, it's Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. Um, mystery unboxing video this time. Um, a while ago, uh, it must be about two weeks ago now, maybe even three, yesteryear's Fountain Pens over on Twitter, um, they put out a tweet basically saying that, uh, what do you think of our autumn um, gift box? Uh, and it will be going away free to... Um, to anyone who retweets and comments on the post and it was a giveaway i never win giveaways but i thought oh i really like that so i tweeted and retweeted and liked it did whatever was requested uh, because it was quite a lovely photograph of autumn colors relating to fountain pens um honestly couldn't tell you what was in the uh, in the shot um it appeared that there might, might have been a fountain pen, maybe a bottle of ink, and some other little goodies and things, all sort of orange and black colours. Very, very attractive little tweet. Um, and I won it. <laughs> so I'm really, really, really pleased about that. So thank you very much to yesteryear's fountain pens. I've got all the details here for um, following them as well. I'm not affiliated to them any, in any way, but I was so overjoyed to win it i thought you know what i'm going to uh going to they've been really good with me i'll give them lots of uh, lots of love on my youtube channel so you can go and find them elsewhere on the internet so yesteryear's fountain pens you can find them on twitter at yesteryear's fp there we go simple as that find them on twitter yesteryear's fp they're also on pinterest and there's the address, pinterest.de backslash yesteryears fp, all one word. Um, Instagram, instagram.com backslash backslash yesteryears fountain, yesteryears fp again. So they, they, they've managed to keep this yesteryears fp address everywhere, which they're lucky to do. It's not always the easiest thing when you're setting up different accounts on the internet. So there they are on Instagram. And they also sell rather nice vintage pens on eBay. And if you look for their seller ID on eBay, it's yesteryears hyphen fountain hyphen pens. So please do look up yesteryears fountain pens on any or all of those platforms. Um, and let's have a look at what they actually sent me. Now, what I have done, I've got the worst of the, uh, the sticky sticky tape and packing off uh, off the box that they sent me uh came from germany i didn't even realize that they were um in based in germany so uh so it's quite nice to get something from uh from the continent it came in this box all nicely uh parceled and everything and i have opened it just to uh just to see what it was because to be honest it could have been anything i mean it was coming from germany i don't know somebody might have sent me a box of i don't know god knows what christmas crackers or something who knows so i thought well let's just check what's in the box and really really happy to see that yesteryear's fountain pens had sent this through to me so all very nicely packaged what on earth have i knocked over there no it's all right so yeah nicely packaged let's tidy this up let's let's make it look a little, little bit attractive there we go get this nice autumnal halloweeny sort of packaging there so we've got a nice card from them to rob and in there we have got a nice little halloween autumn celebration uh some celebration cards oh dear rob Congratulations on winning the giveaway. Hope you will enjoy these goodies. Kind regards, Evelyn. Yes, absolutely. I will. Thank you very much, Evelyn. It's so, so kind of you to uh, to send these through to me. I shall uh, pop your card out there because I love the autumn. Absolutely love it. I love orange and um, I like Halloween too. It's just my sort of time of year. So what have we got in here? Well, let's, let's start off. What's uh, got a nice Halloween um pumpkin trick-or-treat lolly so that was it's like an eye something like that so i shall enjoy that thank you very much and what's this oh a voile bag with oh they're sweet sweets <laughs> sweets in fact 
very very cute little um individually wrapped this is lovely packaging i must admit this really is i mean if this is this is like a gift package this is really really lovely um many many thanks to yesterday's fencing pens for this it's it's so attractive and i mean to put everything into these little vial bags you know this this is a really lovely giveaway excuse my dog barking in the background um what else have we got oh pencil with ooh, ghosts on it yeah lovely <laughs> that's fun i quite like that it's a very nice pencil it's got an eraser on one end yeah really really lovely pencil that's, yeah very attractive <laughs> all year round use as well so what else ooh, what's this a bat oh a sticky bat i see it's got a bit of blue tack on it so We'll stick that somewhere. Might stick that on a door. <laughs> it's quite nice. A little bat. I like bats. Uh, stick it on my wife's flower vase there. No, she'll kill me. Just leave that there. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Um, oh, another royal bag with pumpkin sticker and some ink cartridges. Short, standard, international ink cartridges by the look of it. That's really nice. Little Voil bags. Let's try and open it up. Is this tied? Ah, might be why I can't get in it. So, lots of lots of interesting little things in this uh, in this giveaway box. So let's have a look at this. This is wow. Um, that is some very very fluorescent looking orange ink. Right, okay, if anyone, please, please, any of my viewers have seen really, really fluorescent orange looking ink like this before, this looks quite like paint, to be honest. <laughs> I'm sure it's fountain pen friendly because it's in a fountain pen type standard international ink cartridge, cartridge. but you, I don't know whether I'm going to risk putting that into uh, anything too fancy until I work out what it is. I'm going to hazard a guess and say that it is fountain pen friendly, but it's certainly not going to go into an expensive pen. That's going to be fun to write with. If this is a fountain pen ink, this is going to be great fun. Um, I've never seen an orange ink behave like that before. That that looks like it's going to be fluorescent as well, which, which could be really, really interesting. If it works, I shall let you all know in another video. If it doesn't work, I'll let you all know and I, after I spent two hours cleaning a pen out. So, <laughs> watch this space. Right, what else have we got in here? Ooh, bag. Bag. It looks like a bottle of ink inside. Pop that over there. What have we got here? Sienna. Okay, Toucan ink. I don't know Toucan ink. Just read it out for you it's a bit small toucan inks are vibrantly colored inks for use with fountain pen brush or stylus suitable for general writing calligraphy line drawings washes and stamping toucan inks can be blended with each other or may be reduced with demineralized water dye manufacturers of australia okay that's interesting now i think about it yes i do seem to recall hearing something about toucan this brand i haven't seen in the uk so sienna i'm assuming that this is going to be a lovely nice uh warm brown ink very nice for autumn i'm <laughs> using so many autumnal colors in my fountain pens at the moment i've got blacks grays oranges browns all sorts of purples going on yeah yeah definitely feeling the autumn now so lovely look forward to trying that uh, what else have we got here? This has got to be ink. <laughs> Diamine Night Sky. Diamine Night Sky. I'll always get it wrong. Little cardboard box. Ah, right. Okay. Oh, I see. Right. Hang on. I'm not going to... Right. Lovely little bag again. Little vial bag. Which I shall try to open. It's a good job I've got a bit of fingernail at the moment ok 
can actually unpick little knots. So what else is this? I'm trying not to shake it because I noticed something that I don't know, do I mean night sky? But look at that. It's a shimmer ink. So there's a little sample, tiny little sample of what I assume is black with gold shimmer in, which is going to be really, really lovely. I tend to go for um, silver shimmer, so I do it. I admit, I, I must admit, I do. Um, I do like the uh, J O Barn um, Gris Orage ink that I'm using at the moment, which is basically dark grey and gold. I love that. So this is, I'm guessing. I'll try and keep it in the box. <laughs> no, ah, wrong one. There we go. Night sky. I'm guessing that this is going to be black or a very dark blue with gold uh, shimmer in. That's really, really going to be lovely to use. So I look forward to uh, choosing a pen to pop that into. So you've already seen this. I mean pumpkin. Um, I haven't used pumpkin before. So let's have a quick look at this. Nice corresponding orange, uh, orange bag. Let's have a look at the little sample. Now I think a few of you. Our regular viewers or subscribers will have noticed that one of my favourite orange inks is uh, Diamine Sunset. So it's nice to be able to try another orange ink from Diamine. Um, I believe Pumpkin is available in the UK. So I know a lot of Diamine inks tend to go overseas and, you know, the, I don't know, Germany exclusives. USA exclusives, things like that. So you can't always find every single diamine ink in every country, in every colour. But, you know, pumpkin, I believe that is one that you can get in the UK. So I look forward to trying that. Pop, pop that one back. Close that one. And, ooh, right, what else have we got? A little spider. A little wooden decorated spider. That's quite nice. Uh, now, I thought I'd wrestled with all the sticky tape beforehand in this video, but obviously uh, not quite. <laughs> so you're going to have to see me fumbling around with sticky tape for a minute. Wow, that is securely packaged. Right, what's this? Oh, Waterman. Waterman Intense Black Ink Cartridge is always really nice to have these. And I must admit, Waterman Intense Black is one of my go-to black inks. Um, especially for anything I'm not too sure about. Any pens that I'm a little bit... Oh, nice. Long cartridges. Long standard international cartridges. Lots of ink in there. Um, yeah, I, I find that Waterman Intense Black is a really, really safe ink. If you've got a pen where you're not sure if there's some uh, some potential issues, like it's going to leak, or you're not sure if you want to um, really risk any uh, pen components too much with a slightly, I don't know, dodgy ink uh, that may harm the pen, Waterman inks are usually really, really safe. So they are often the first inks I ever put into a pen. So it's good to have some standard international long Waterman cartridges. Excellent, thank you. Um, right. What looks like a... Feels like a book. Halloween. Lovely. And... Let's see what's inside this. Oh, that's quite attractive. Conceptum Siegel Notebook. Right, okay, I'll try it. There we go. It's a very attractive embossed cover. I mean, it's, it's matte with these uh, these leaves, the um, ginkgo, ginkgo biloba. So we've got ginkgo leaves, which are in a sort of nice pale brownie green Silver uh, uh, fawny outline with black 
embossed gloss ginkgo leaves as well. That's a really attractive cover on this notebook. Uh, let's see, the notebook with numerous functions. Okay, blank. Uh, let's just have a look. Okay, so what we've got here. Uh, da -da -da. Right, okay, we have a index. So that's that's always got to do like having an index in notebooks. Blank pages, cream paper, pages are numbered. That's always a good thing. Oh, right, okay, wow, there's a lot of pages in this. 194 pages. Excellent, and this paper feels very, very nice and very, very smooth. I don't know a lot about these notebooks. Oh, this, um, here we are in English. This Conceptum notebook is absolutely up to date and is the perfect way to express your personal taste and style. Our designers continue to create new books for you that reflect the latest trends, colours and surfaces. New creations to highlight your personality. Printed on acid-free paper. Made in Germany. Always nice. And we have got some bits and bobs. Here's this an ex little expandable yeah, little pocket there. I know some people really love those. Um, this Yeah, this is a pocket too. With some... Ah, right, I see. Yeah, okay. So, got the uh, bit on the inside cover there where you can write your name, address, phone number, things like that. And of course, being a blank book, you've got gridded and lined so you can now write on a blank page as if it was gridded or similarly just flip this over and pop that in there there we go lined paper just remember uh, to tr just try to remember not to uh, end up writing on um, on this thing so Get this extracted out of there and pop it back in. Keep it all neat and flat. I look forward to using that. Because uh, at the moment I'm actually using a um, like term uh, notebook. Oh, it's got it's got a pen uh, pen loop there. That's nice. And an elasticated thing for the cover. An elasticated band. Is my loop term notebook here? No. Somewhere, it's somewhere around nearby, just hiding from me. So, last item in the uh, in this lovely giveaway box. Let's try to open one end. This is exciting. I'm assuming this this is a pen. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Right, okay. All very, very nicely, securely wrapped. Uh, this is why my unboxing videos generally are already open. Because, <laughs> because it takes me a while to unwrap things. Right, okay, what have we got here? Oh, what's this? So, fine. Orange and... That's, it's, this is showing up quite yellow here, but this is actually a really nice orange with a bright orange, uh, burnt orange cap. Right, God, how am I supposed to read this? Can you read it? <laughs> oh. Picasso, maybe. Is that a Picasso? I could be reading anything into this, trying to... If I can get it to focus, I might stand a chance of even being able to read it under the camera. Oh. No. It could be all sorts of things. I'll have to uh, get a loop out and have a look at that. So let's have a look. What have we got here? Looks like a pop cap. Yeah, slip cap. Right. So it's a fine. Mm -mm -mm. Still can't see anything on the nib. There is 
some writing on the base, but I can't make it out. Grip uh, the section, it's a plastic section, but it's, it's ribbed. It's actually, I should imagine this is going to be quite a comfortable pen to hold. Post lovely and deeply and securely. It's a very, very attractive, um, quite retro pen. Wouldn't be surprised if this was, uh, this was this was new old stock or something from the eighties. It's that sort of design. We've got a blank cartridge fitted there. Which I'm guessing the uh, standard international. Could it be eyedroppers? Mm -hmm. Threads might be a little bit on the uh, shallow side. Ah, hang on a minute, there we go. There's a cartridge inside, there we go. Blue ink cartridge. Stick that back on there. Right, okay. I, oh, nice, that clips nicely. It's secure. Oh, Rome, oh, I honestly can't make it out. I shall have to, uh, I shall have to have a look in the, uh, under the loop and, um, and put the uh, name of this pen in the comments uh, in the description down below of this video. So, right, that's that's lovely. Nice orange pen. That really is quite autumnal. i get everything back in focus. There we go. Right, and there is also this black pen, which, oh no. Why does everything have writing on that's too small? Oh... Uh, Am I ever going to be able to make this out? This might have to be another one that goes in the uh, description down below. <laughs> I have not hope in hell of making that one out. Nothing obvious. There's nothing on the cat band. I'm guessing this is a twist. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. Nice blue, clear ink window. Oh, can I make out any of this? No, not a chance. <laughs> it's got to be a piston filler. Right, blind cap. Might have to uh, have to look at this in more detail. I really, really cannot make that out. Sorry, I'll have to go into the uh, description below. No, really, really can't make that one out. But very nice looking pen. About the size of a Pelican M one hundred. Caps reasonably well. Post reasonably well, rather. Yeah, lovely stylish pen, which looks quite vintage to me. Nice clear ink window. It's always a good sign. Um, yeah, may need to do a little bit of research and work on these pens uh, before I can commit to a, uh, to a final... Uh, definitive say so in the uh, description below so right there we go that is a lovely package from yesteryear's fountain pens lots of nice little treats and goodies in there uh, just try and pop everything back so i don't lose anything what do i mean night sky your sweets Cartridges, nice card, bottle of ink, and the notebook. So, oh, autumn and cartridges. There we go. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, and I will just remind you of yesteryear's fountain pens, um, where they can be found on the internet, Twitter. Yesteryear's FP, Pinterest, 
Pinterest.de, yesterday, excuse me, yesterday's fountain, FP, sorry, yesterday's FP, Instagram.com, yesterday's FP, and their shop on eBay, yesterday's hyphen fountain hyphen pens. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing uh, mystery package video, and um, I shall see you next time. Cheers, bye.